on our building a, an empire, a passive income empire. Uh, we started this a couple of weeks ago, and last week we took a week off. We had some technical issues with our internet, actually, in Florida, and uh, it seems to be dicey at times with the weather, but uh, we're back, and I'm going to make this really quick today because we're going to kind of go over number two. Now, number one, you should have uh, downloaded your, your list of 100, which means you're trying to make a list of 100 people that you know, warm market, um, you know, people you do business with, people you shop with, people, wherever you spend your money at is your top, should be on your top 100 list. And my belief, anybody that's on, that you do business with, you spend money with, dry cleaners, gas stations, where you get your soda, your coffee, whatever, uh, should be opening to at least listening to you uh, and sharing your opportunity. And, uh, you know, if they're not interested in, in, in allowing you to share their opportunity and you're getting your haircut done there, my recommendation would be get your haircut done somewhere else so because again if they were if they signed up to sell something or or uh in the, be in the amway business or tupperware business you can bet they'd be calling you because that's what we do with our friends we look for them for support they don't have to buy but they definitely need to be uh, uh willing to listen or they're really not your friend so uh, that was last week or two weeks ago when we talked about it or let's just say it's episode one where we discuss those things and completing that uh, top 100 list, which you should have already uh, downloaded. The link was uh, below the video. Uh, it was during the chat session uh, for you to download and fill out. That was your homework. <clears throat> and so hopefully you've done that because we're going to be needing that uh, probably as we move into to, uh, week three and four, when we start to really, you should already be doing that anyways. If you're an agent right now, you should be sharing the opportunity. We're just going to, my goal here is just to kind of, you know, refine the process, right? So to be very clear, as you know, I've said it many, many times, is uh, the ability to to be able to open distribution outlets for billion dollar companies that operate in one of the really there's only a you know a few trillion dollar industries, and life insurance happens to be one of them, and where everybody needs what we have is the best business opportunity on the planet. Uh, really, literally everybody you run into uh, has a need for life insurance and, um, you know, our final expense or whatever it is, right? Uh, and most, some have some life insurance, but none of them have enough. So that's the point is that, you know, um, you're able to open your business for less than $400, a, uh, you know, to your license and your state fees. And you're, in, you're able to operate and sell products in a billion dollar uh, sorry, a trillion dollar market, right? So that's, you know, I find that to be in, in just incredible that we're able to participate with such a low investment cost. Now, I will tell you that sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. I've found that, you know, if people don't have any skin in the game, you know, if, it's, 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 if, if they can get in for next to nothing, they, they get out with next to nothing, right? I think, uh, you know, if they, if it was, if they cost them a hundred thousand or it cost them a million dollars, like it would to open up a McDonald's or a Starbucks franchise, they would stick this thing out a little bit more and they'd give it a whole lot more focus, a whole lot more attention and energy uh, if they had a million dollars in the line. I know for me, years and years ago, when I was still in the, actually, I was still in the life insurance business, I was working for New York Life back then. We, uh, uh, actually, I ventured into a screen printing and embroidery business doing custom logos for corporations for for their annual golf tournaments because I really like that process. I like the, the creative process process of the of mostly embroidery and screen printing mostly embroidery but we also did screen printing later in the game and you know we had before we even opened the doors we had a, you know a quarter of a million dollars plus invested in the machinery right the embroidery machines there there are multiple heads meaning you can you know sewing machine heads you can the more heads you have the more garments that you can embroider or sew at one time uh, and so we had to we, you know we couldn't go out there and start selling uh, hats and t uh, not t-shirts, but hats and polos like I have on right now. That's an embroidered uh, uh, cat on this for Slotinger. That's our logo. Um, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we did. We couldn't go out there and sell that until first we bought a machine. We rented a location to put that machine. We bought our supplies, threads, you know, uh, backing, embroidery, you know, backing for inside the shirts, all kinds of stuff. And we had to invest in, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, 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 uh, in equipment. And then we had to, um, 
We didn't have staff because we were doing it ourselves, but we had to invest in you know, going to trade shows and really learning the process. So we had, you know, three three hundred thousand dollars probably invested in and we, you know, and not cash. We financed, which means next month payments due. Uh, and we had to, you know, it was trial by fire. We had to go. We had to learn very quickly how to not only sell the product profitably but then run the machines. And so we were selling during the day and running the machines at night. There was many, many, many times that Angela and I were in that shop all night long, no sleep, running the machines to get the goods done for a next day golf tournament for one of our customers. So my point to you is, is that we had a lot on the line financially. Uh, her grandmother helped us finance the equipment. So it was her credit was on the line because we didn't have any at the time. And so uh, if we failed, it was not only a monetary loss, it was a monetary loss that affected a family. And I think in part, that's one of the reasons why we succeeded at a high level. In, in less than five years, we were, we were hitting five, you know, high, a million dollars in, in sales and uh, annually. And so uh, we, and we were, when we had got really good at it, the process, we, we were very good at, uh, at, you know, at, at our quality workmanship. Uh, because we had a lot on the line. We didn't have uh, – quitting was not an option. Failing was not an option. We screwed up many, many, many times uh, and destroyed garments and had to buy the garments again and start over again. So that job wasn't profitable. We always delivered the goods to our clients and built a reputation, which got us you know, in, in five years to that you know, million dollars plus a year in sales. We didn't have an option to, to, to quit. There was, you know, again, like I said, we had too much invested and we had our family's finances are on the line and their credit. And so I find that, that, that at times that's, that's the, what's lacking in this business is that um, people don't have enough invested in the business, invested in the business. And, and, and therefore it's, you know, they can get in for a couple hundred bucks. And and so it's, it's non-sequential. It's inconsequential, I guess the word for it, uh, for them to quit. So easy and easy out. And so I, you know, you some, and I don't know how to, to solve that problem. I wish we could charge a million dollars to, for, to get in this business. It's worth it. You know, we've got several people that are making a million dollars a year annually as salespeople, if you want to call them salespeople. I'm not talking about any recruiters or team builders or agency building, building. I'm talking about just going out and selling the product. So, again, um, you know, what is what is it worth it to you worth to you to be able to invest less than four hundred dollars? jump into a time tested and proven system that you can, you know, that again, everybody needs the product that we had to sell. COVID has exploded our industry, right? Uh, everybody's thinking about life insurance now and they may not, I'm not saying they're all going to buy, but they have an interest in, in life insurance. It's been the number one Google search term for over a year uh, during COVID, especially so you're able to participate in that market. You didn't have to create the product. You're not going to be liable when they pass away, and, you, and, and you're going to be delivering that death benefit check that's, that's uh, drawn on you know, Mutual Omaha or Transamerica or AIG. All you got to do is learn how to do a 20-minute presentation very, very well. And so um, and, you know, and do it over and over and over again you know, and your cost of entry is 400 bucks. Um, but again, it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. Anytime you're in business doing anything, it's not, it, it's not easy. Uh, some are simple, some are complicated, and some are very, very difficult and require a lot of investment of your time and money. This is going to require time and very little money, uh, but you had to be willing to fail, but, but resistant to quit. And so that's the thing. Uh, and most people aren't doing that. The first time that, that you know, that, that the storm waters start to, you know, uh, come against their, their business, they're out, you know, or they or, or they're not willing to invest any money whatsoever um, to scale their income. The great thing about our income is that it's a leads based sales opportunity. And so uh, because of that, you can scale your income by the number of leads that you buy or work. So, you know, it's the same process. It's the same presentation. It's the same way to book the appointment, phone, whatever it is. Uh, you show up. You either run the appointment virtually. And by the way, we have the best virtual platform in the industry, bar none. Uh, and I can prove that with our numbers and our processes. So all you had to do is show up, get a license, show up, be willing to work, 
be coachable, right? And uh, have a burning desire to, to succeed. So when the storm waters do start, you know, bashing the sides of your your business and trying to take it down, that could be your negative friend. It could be a negative spouse. It could be, you know, bad batch of leads here and there. And you start questioning the opportunity and whether or not you, you, the opportunity actually works and all this stuff. And your friends tell you it doesn't work. And all that. You've got to be able to, to withstand that without quitting and succumbing to what they're uh, thought process is about the business that you're in, right? I always said that people people are always on your team. They're on the team that tell, they told you to quit, or they're on the team that told you I told you you could do it, right? So you know they're just waiting to see what you're going to do with it. So they can join with join the the winning team, <laughs> the one that failed, the one that one that uh, uh, succeeded, right? So um, the next extension of that is to uh, you know to to you can build an you can get residual income on some products. And you can build an agency, you can hang a shingle out, and you can teach people that you, how to do this business based on your success. Uh, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not, uh, it's not network marketing. It's not multi-level marketing. Um, it, but it is a business of duplication. So you want to be mentored and coached by somebody that uh, has success and has a time-tested and proven system to plug you into. Um, so that you can not only learn yourself, but if you decide to go down that route, and not everybody should, uh, and which is to build an agency, because again, once you uh, start to build an agency, you've now left the insurance industry, you've joined the people industry, and not everybody, quite honestly, is is up to that task. So uh, that's something to consider while you're going through this series with me is as to whether or not that that's, you know, you see yourself in that position, but uh, you know, you have that opportunity too, and that is to build a lifetime of passive income and generational wealth uh, for your loved ones. So uh, there's nothing like this industry out there. There's nothing like this opportunity out there. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's very simple. Here's how this business works, right? Um, we get a lead, we, uh, we, we dial that lead and we book or we, or we book that appointment. That's number two. We make an appointment with that lead. That's number three. So again, let me go, let me start again. So I'm clear. Number one, we get a lead. Number two, we, we dial that lead. Number three, we make an appointment with that lead. Number four, we, we show up, we do a presentation face to face or virtual. I will tell you that about 95% of our business right now is virtual. I'm not even sure where the other 5% is coming from, um, but about 95% totally flipped since COVID, since we took 18 months to perfect our virtual platform. And again, we're the only ones in the industry that has that kind of a platform. Um, uh, it's been very, very, very successful generating incomes from, you know, 10,000 a week to $50,000, you know, a week. So, um, and, and much more than that monthly. Uh, not, I'm not saying you want to do that. I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you're willing to work that hard to make that kind of money. Those guys are working hard. It's not falling in their lap. Uh, I'm not willing to work that hard. I, 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 am okay with making, you know, three fifty to $400,000 a year. So for me, that's 35, 30, 35,000 bucks a month. That's about 40 apps a month, 10 apps a week. That's about my goal uh, as a producer. So that, you know, but, but, but knowing that that kind of money is available, Right. When you go to a trade show and you're looking at uh, franchises to buy or businesses to start, you want to see evidence that you can, that there's success at selling that product or being in that business. And I'm telling you that you've got people that are doing zero because they're doing no work. Right. You do no work. You get no pay. It's not a, like I said, it's not a scam. It's not a get rich quick scheme. Uh, as, as a result, you're going to get nothing if you don't work. Uh, then you get the other people that are working five, six, seven days a week that, that, you know, are making, you know, multiple six figures. Some are making seven figures over a million dollars a year. So, uh, that's the thing. So again, here, here's the process as a producer, we get a lead, we make a dial, we, we, uh, we show for the appointment, we make a presentation, we write the app, protect the family and provide them the coverage. And then we get paid as a producer. Now, if we're going to build an agency, what, how does that apply to building to agency building? Uh, we recruit some people. And I hate the word recruit because it sounds like network marketing, but that's what you know, recruiting in sports is the same thing. We're looking for people that are looking for what we're looking for out of life. I, I mean, I would write that down if I were you because I've had that with me for most of my life. 
most of my adult life while in this business. I'm looking for Steve Houston people. I'm looking for people that value independence. They value freedom. They value personal liberty. They want to work their business around their family, their family being the priority, not the business. So, and still be able to, to provide, uh, uh, well for their family right a, a great lifestyle for their family but do it when they when it, around their family their family is a priority right and we're able to do that in this business so i'm looking for people that i'm that are looking for what i'm looking for out of life right so it, you know that's what i'm looking for doesn't mean we won't take somebody that, that has a different idea of what success is everybody's idea of success is different i don't push my idea of success on anybody my idea of success is about 30 to 35 000 thousand dollars a month in passive income where i don't have to show up to to sell some insurance to pay my bills right that's what you do in the early stages of of being an agent you know um uh, you know, earning your stripes, right? Um, you know, earning your, your earning your 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 path in this business by going out there and, and leading by example. Then, and once you're you, while you're doing that, you can also hang a shingle out and build your own agency. The the industry is exploding with young people and old people that want to get involved in this industry. So you, there's a lot of people that, that uh, you can talk to and start building that passive income. You're also building a residual based income based on the process, some of the products you're selling and your team is selling. So very shortly, one, two, three years, your income from building your agency will outpace the income that you can make as an agent. And then that's when you go into that mentoring coaching uh, role and you get out of the personal production side of the business because you've earned the right to, to be out of because you've replaced yourself with team income that you can't match on a, you know, with your own pen. So, uh, so again, number one, you recruit some people, you help them develop, you plug them into an existing training program, you mentor and coach them. Uh, you don't train them. You, you hopefully you're gonna. You, if you're with us, we have a a, a time tested and proven. Uh, training system. So we want our agents, our managers, our agency builders to put their agents into our system that already exists, right? And our system will train them so that the manager doesn't have to take the time to train them because there's no money in training, right? Your job is to set the example, right? I call them IPAs. Your job is to, is to focus on the IPAs, the income producing activities, which is selling insurance and finding people to sell insurance. If you're with an IMO that doesn't provide any training and you're with an agency that doesn't provide any training, you're, you end up doing all the training, creating the websites, creating the training materials, and you're never going to be able to scale that business. Trust me, I know we did it. Right. And by the time we get to about 20 agents, we were imploding on ourselves because everybody needs training at a different level because they come in at different levels. Right. Some as they move through the system. Now you, you still need to go back and train the basics to those to a handful of agents while you're training more advanced stuff to the rest of your agents. And all of a sudden it just starts to come, come, come crashing down because you're spending more time training and developing training systems and not going out and selling insurance anymore. In personally, right, cash flowing your business uh, because you're too busy training agents that have yet to produce anything. So there's no revenue, there's no income coming in to you for all this time you're spending training. You're you, you're so busy training these these new agents because of that potential income coming down the road, you stop personally producing, and now all of a sudden you can't pay your bills, and the whole house of cards comes crashing down. That's why it's so important to be involved with somebody like us that provides that type of training because, therefore, you can plug your agents into our system. We say throw them into the river and allow the current to take them downstream, right? Not you because sitting on the side of the road, you know, helping an agent enter a, uh, an application into an e-app is not making you any money. Okay, indirectly it might be, but it's, it's you know you want to be out there selling insurance yourself, cash flowing your business, setting an example, leading by the front, and have them calling another resource to help them because you're not in the training business. That's probably the biggest tip of uh, sound advice I could give you on the call tonight for episode two, uh, right? So um, just just you know keep that in mind. So you want to uh, help them develop, mentor and coach, be there, support them, encourage them, and motivate them, but not train them. Okay, so that so that would be getting that would be number three, getting them into the system, right? 
Uh, and number four, the system does most of the work for us. You want to invest in them, emotional investment, talking to them on the phone, encouraging, like I said, find out what they want and help them get what they want and build a relationship with them, which, you know, at times can be difficult, but that's our job as builders. That's what you can do. And you can do that like I did while you're going from appointment A to appointment B back in the days when we were doing face to face. Uh, now we have more time to invest in our agencies because we're doing the, the lion's share of that stuff virtually. Right. So, um, you know, I hope that makes sense. That's really, you know, the pro the, the, the steps that you can go in this business. You can take a $400 investment and turn into a million dollar annual income, um, uh, uh, business and it's completely scalable. You scale it by the amount of, uh, leads that you're working as an agent, right? Again, the same process with every different client you talk to. So it's just about more leads equal more appointments equal more conversations equals more applications written equals more income. That's the, the path for the agent, right? And But for the builder, it's again, while you're doing that, it's having conversations. It's ha talking to your warm market. It's, it's it's maybe running some ads cold market. It's you know getting some leads of people that are looking for business opportunities. And so around the time that you're cash flowing your business, you're having those conversations, right? And so here's the thing that I want to focus on on episode number two, which is when you're building your agency, it's, it really parallels very closely to the leads based sales opportunity, which, and by what I mean by that is, is that you want to point them just like you point your agents to a, to a, a training system that you signed up with. Like for example, if you were with us, we have a, uh, we already have a training system. You plug them in, I said, you throw them in the river and let the current take them downstream. Same thing with, with building. You want to, you want to, uh, not vomit all everybody with all your knowledge about the insurance industry because you got no one's no one wants to sell insurance or very few people want to sell insurance right you there's all saying is sell the sizzle not the steak you don't go with all these details about how to sell insurance they'll learn that right but you want to talk about remember i said you're looking for people who are looking for what you're looking for out of life you want to talk about freedom liberty independence, autonomy, you know, being able to, to, to do the things that you love and were born to do, um, you know, in this world, which is probably not selling insurance. It's being around people that you love. It might be dedicating your, your life to your church, your, your charity, whatever, but you can do all of those things and, uh, you know, uh, and your business, you can work in around those things. The things that you're born to do is the priority. The business is a secondary and you can make a great income working your business around those things, right? Those are the people that you're looking for and you can look for those people. Well, I recommend using a video uh, that, that goes over the opportunity that they, that they can watch, send them to a website. We have a great website we send our people to uh, and, and let them let them watch the video, develop some questions and then follow up with you if they're interested. If you do it that way, then again, that's scalable, right? The more you share that website or that video with more people, the more interested parties that you're going to get. It's not about trying to twist anybody's arm or convincing them that this might be the business. It's about the law of large numbers. That's the system for being a producer and the system for being a builder. It's both the law of large numbers. The more conversations that you have, the more times you send that video or send that website to some of these, you, I do it all the time. All the time when I'm out going to to a you know to a car show, we were at the um, Strawberry Festival a couple months back, and there was a guy there selling med subs. I walked back up to him, and, you know, in, in his booth, and I said, "Hey, what are you doing when you're not selling med subs?" And it generated a conversation. Next thing you know, we exchanged business cards. I sent him to my website. He drove up here to our office, and I talked to him, and he's now part of our team. So that's that. That's you. And you can. How many times a day can you do that with people that you run into? Because look, we're living in a, in crazy times right now economically, and so people and and a lot of people just came out of a, 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 a and some are still dealing with it a horrible two years where they they they're they're 
uh, faith in the job, there uh, in the job security was shaken to its core because they never realized that somebody could take their job away from them. They never realized that the state or federal government could, could, could shut down their restaurant, their hair salon, or their ability to do business. Theaters, gas stations, whatever it was, were told to board it up and go home. Right? But and and but they've they they may have saved up for years to start that business, and many of them couldn't bridge the tide. Businesses need cash flow. Businesses can't stay in business by having the doors locked. And so there's a lot of people out there that would love to be in a business like ours that you control. You own it. You're not renting it. You own it. We were an essential business all through COVID. We were still able to run appointments. It got difficult at times. We sat in our cars. We talked them on the phone from our car, and they're sitting in the house 50 feet away. We would slide the paper underneath the door or lay it on the porch. They'd come out and sign it. We'd sit in the, in the, in the uh, front yard or on the porch and do a paper application and with our mask on. Whatever it took to meet the client where they, were, where they, where they, were, they felt most comfortable, we were able to conduct our business. Our income tripled during that time, Right. We weren't out of business. No one could take it away from us. There are a lot of people out there that would be interested in hearing that story. Right? So how do you tell that story? Well, share on this video. This is about as real as it can get. Right? Uh, I've been in this business for 40 years. Consistently. Uh, you know, never, you know, always been in, or in it or around it. And it's been very good for me. And so, uh, and that's why, but it's never been better than it is right now. Call it, you know, COVID, put life insurance on the map. T and timing is more important than T and talent. And the timing is right now. And so, you know, you, if you're watching this, you're not in it or you're, or you're, or you're struggling. There's a reason why you're struggling. So let's have a conversation and find out this business is a lot of large numbers, but it takes activity. Right. It takes lead flow and activity. It couldn't be more simple, but it does take support, training, mentoring and coaching from somebody that knows what they're doing. Right. What do we have? What do you want to talk to people about? Well, talk about the talk about the virtual. It's a new thing. It's the sizzle. It's not the steak. We have a virtual step by step training program. We got daily coaching calls Monday through Friday with top virtual pr uh, producers uh, across the country that you can plug into. And if you're struggling, they'll call you out and talk to you direct and, try and break down your business and how you're doing it and identify what you're doing wrong and fix it. It's uh, nothing else like that in the industry. We have a Saturday boot camp with top face to face agents in the country. We have the best comp plan in the business. Top comp up to 150 plus if you know if you're building an agency that's not subjective to somebody's attitude or opinion of you. If you hit the number, you're advanced. So you get bonuses, manager bonuses. You got equity profit sharing bonuses that's actually paid out every month, up to a half a million dollars so far going out every single month in what we call equity bonus. That means not only are you benefiting from the applications you write, the applications that your team writes, but the applications that are written in the entire company that you had nothing to do with, our managers are able to participate in that, right? We have our own in-house mailing program, direct mail in-house mailing program. The gold standard in leads. We own our own. We're not giving our agents a third-party vendor list. We have a builder's booth. If you want to open an office, we'll help you pay for it. And the freedom to build your business the way you at the at the way you want and the speed you prefer, as long as you're running good business. So that's the conversation that you want to, you know, to talk to somebody about and point to a tool and let them watch a video or or several videos. Fill out a form and follow up. Press their interest, and then you can have a follow up conversation with them. If you want to be ex extremely productive, focus on results, set goals, both on the on the agent side and on the building side. Uh, focus on what you want to achieve. It may require you to slow down. Right, slow down, build the proper foundation. I find that most people get in this business, uh, you know, try to shortcut it, get it, try to race to the cash. And I talk about all the time about focusing on the on the four Ps. Phone, product, presentation, being persistent. If you'll focus on those things and build a solid foundation, go through the training that you're that you're, that you're given. Ours is extensive, uh, and get good at that. The sales are automatic. If you shortcut the foundation, your house is built on sand, and you may uh, your business may sink as a result. Right.
Uh, figure out what you want your life to look like at the end of 2022. This is a critical year for, ever, for everybody. It's really our first year of coming out of COVID and trying to get our lives back in order. Where do you want to be uh, in the end of 2022? Um, and realize that the activities, focus on the activities that really produce uh, uh, your results. And I find that uh, there usually is, the people that struggle, there usually is a serious mismatch between uh, you know, work priorities and the time that people allocate to the business, right? It goes back to that, that, uh, easy in, easy out thing I, I talked about earlier. It's, it's easy to get in. It's also easy to quit. And I find that's to be the case here as well. It's easy to get in and people tend not to give this business the time that it needs. Folks, this is a business. It, you know, be careful what you say, you say no to. Right. You can come into this business for less than 400 bucks. You can earn up to a million dollars a year. We've got people here doing that. Right. You may not want to make over a million dollars a year. You may only want to make a hundred thousand. You may only want to make 50,000. But like I said earlier, you want to know the potential of the business. Do you know where you can go if you choose to do so? So that's the opportunity we have right now. And then you can take it to the next level. And, you know, and be earning a million dollars, two million dollars, even more than that. If you're, you know, if you were to build an, an income through a passive income through agency building for that four hundred dollars, you could build a business that spits off more money than doctors and lawyers make. So it should demand your attention. Again, not everybody should be building an agency. If you don't like people, you might be able to survive as an agent. You'll never survive as a team builder, right? So um, that's, that is what I want to share on this video. I, I know it's been a little bit long, but I hope there's some value to it. I will be back again next Thursday night at 8 o'clock Eastern time and get deeper into this building a passive income empire. Is that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I appreciate you, and uh, thanks for being part of the channel. Look, I'd be, if, if you like this video, I'd be grateful to get to, to get a, a thumbs up from you. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, talk, talk to me in the comment section about what you rather, what you really want me to focus on going forward. I got about ten or eleven weeks of material here that I want to share with you from over forty years of building uh, an agency inside the insurance industry. I think uh, hopefully we'll have some value to you. Uh, as we go through these next couple of weeks, but if you if you if you have questions, post them in the comment section. I do try to to respond and reply to all the comments. And again, grateful that you're here, and uh, thank you for being part of what we're doing here. Bye bye now.